news update. For InfoLive TV, this is David Oman. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad on Thursday addressed Israeli leaders directly and said that if Israel were to embark on another war in Lebanon the coming summer, it would be destroyed by the countries in the area and Iran would see to it. Earlier Thursday, Ahmadinejad declared that his country would continue its nuclear program despite international pressure. Israel does not intend to halt its aerial attacks against Hamas and other terror organizations in the Gaza Strip despite Mahmoud Abbas's call for a ceasefire. The IAF launched several attacks Thursday night, one of which was at a structure near the house of Palestinian Prime Minister Ismail Haniya in the northern Gaza Strip. At least five Qassam rockets were fired at the western Negev on Friday morning, landing in open areas south of Ashkelon and near Sterot. No injuries were reported, but one rocket set a wheat field ablaze near Sterot. President Bush said Thursday that the U.S. would not tolerate Iranian defiance of international demands and said he would work personally with other countries to expand the U.N. sanctions regime to prevent a nuclear Iran, which would be incredibly destabilizing for the world. Sonia Perez, the wife of Vice Premier Shimon Perez, was taken to Tel Shomer Hospital in Tel Aviv late Thursday after experiencing heart failure. Doctors said Friday morning that her condition was serious but stable. Perez has a pre-existing heart condition which seems to have deteriorated. Today on InfoLive TV, we bring you an in-depth overview of the diplomatic and military developments in the Middle East. Join us as we bring you a selection of this week's top stories. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.